Hi. All right. I, I think I just, I just did something that might have been really stupid, and I don't know, and that's why I'm coming to you on this video right now, because I need your help. I need your reassurance or, or a slap across the face to be told that I did something really stupid or, or, or an intervention. I don't know what I need. But I just went and spent an obscene amount of money, at least to me, on a PC for virtual reality. And I'm going to talk you through my process here in a moment, tell you what I got, let you know the specs, let you know what I paid for it, where I got it from, and you can tell me if this was the dumbest thing ever or not. All right, before we get into that, I'm Jolly Julian, and I'm coming to you with new videos from a VR enthusiast like me who loves VR, who's passionate about VR, both standalone and PC VR, who has a PC right now, and I just went and did this crazy thing. But before we get into that, I wanna thank you for being here. Please, if you like like anything you see or hear, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Do any combination of those things because you have no idea how much it helps other VR enthusiasts to find out about these videos and to know that they exist. So I'm Jolly Julian and let's virtual our reality. <laughs> First of all, a little background on me. I am a virtual reality passionate enthusiast. I love virtual reality. I'm also critical of virtual reality from time to time when there are things that I see in it that could be being done better or done differently. I'm not afraid to, you know, criticize the thing that I love, but I realized how much I use virtual reality on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm, I'm in virtual reality for anywhere, you know, from two to four hours or sometimes a little bit more almost every single day of my life. And when you use something that much, you know, you really want to get the most out of that experience possible. Now, some of you may have a Quest 2 or a Quest 3, just like I have here. The Quest 3 is my kind of daily headset, the one I use every single day right now. And for a lot of people, they're just using the Quest 3 as a standalone headset or the Quest 2 as a standalone headset without even fully realizing the capability of what happens when you link that with a powerful PC that is capable of doing incredible VR and, and incredible other experiences. Well, I'm fortunate to have a computer here that I've been using for the last five or six years that a friend of mine built for me and did a wonderful job with. I have no complaints. The computer is great, but it is five or six years out of date. It's running an older graphics card. It's an older processor, you know, and I finally got to the point where I'm like, I want to see what virtual reality can really be right now, today, with the very best hardware that I can possibly get my hands on. And that's what I hope I did here. So what I did was I purchased a computer through Dell. Now don't, don't turn this off. I know you're probably, some of you are probably yelling at your computer screen right now going, Julian, what have you done? What have you done? You could have built a computer for much less expensive, you could have built it yourself from the ground up, saved a lot of money, and you know, you may be right there, but I have no experience building PCs at all. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm not sure having the crazy person driving the car who doesn't know how to shift gears or, or parallel park is the smart thing to do. So I opted, I made the decision to have the professional do this. You know, Dell's been around for a long time. They've been building computers for a long time. Um, you know, I've read pretty good reviews about what they do, and I got myself an Alienware computer, top of the line. I'm going to give you the specs here in just a minute, and it's due to be here in about a week and a half. Now, what I plan to do is, first of all, I want to see if I made a good decision here or a bad decision. The positive side is, and the reason I made this decision, is that Dell has agreed that if for any reason this doesn't knock my socks off, they have a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee, and they will even pay to have it shipped back to them. So when you look at it that way, I'm really not risking any money. Uh, because if it's not if it doesn't knock my socks off, if it's not markedly better than the computer that I already have here, which I'm keeping and going to continue to use for things that are not virtual reality, like my video editing and all in music projects and these other things that I do, my goal is to have this brand new PC be used only for virtual reality and that's it. I'm not going to load anything else on. I'm not going to bog it down with anything else. And if it doesn't perform much better than the computer I already have, I'm sending that baby back. 
and I will communicate to you and everyone exactly why. And I'll even show you that process if it happens so you know how it went. As soon as I get it, I'm going to be tearing that box open, videotaping all of that so you can see it. And then I'm going to videotaping. Did I just age myself incredibly? Who, who says videotaping anymore? Who says that? I do, okay? I'm classic. I'm vintage. I'm not old. Yeah, kind of am. But anyway, I'm going to be videoing that and, uh, and sharing the tests and so forth with you. So you will not want to miss that. Before I move into, I'm going to get into the specs here, what I ordered and what I paid for it. You might want to sit down. But before I do that, if you're interested in following me through this process, along with the other videos that I'm doing on virtual reality on a regular basis, please be sure to subscribe to this channel right now. Click that subscribe button right now before you forget or get into anything else and click that bell icon so you're notified when a new video comes out. Because what I'm going to do is as soon as I get this computer in, then I'm going to start with something like Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm going to go right for the top of the line. I'm going to go for the bell of the ball. I'm going to go for the thing that might catch my computer on fire right from the get-go and that's what I'm going to test it on first and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it against the computer I have here so I'm going to do some comparative tests there so you can see how it compares to the computer I've been using for the last five or six years that has an older processor in it and an older um, 2080 Ti card in it which is a you know two generations old already it's going to be three generations old very soon when the the 5000 series cards eventually do come out whatever those end up being and however crazy expensive they end up being uh, but then I also have a third computer that I haven't used in quite a while it's back there it's a it's a computer that I had my friend build for me for about five or six hundred bucks total and I wanted to see could it run PC VR it's got an old 1080 Ti card in it now you know that's three generations old and a, an old processor and so forth and what I'm going to do is I'll probably test all three of these machines so you can see what PC VR can be like if you get a $500 PC, a $13 to $1,500 or so, maybe $1,600 or so when I got it made PC, the one I'm using now, and a more expensive <laughs> PC. And I'm going to get to what I paid for it in just a minute. But first, let's talk about the specs. So the machine I'm using right now, the one that my friend built for me, um, did a great job with it, runs incredibly well. It's what I'm doing all my video editing on, what I do my PC VR gaming on right now. Here are the specs for that machine. An AMD Ryzen 7 3800X 8 core processor, 3.9 gigahertz, at least that's what it's rated as, 32 gigs of RAM, and an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti GPU. Now, the insanity of what I did today, my new baby. It's just being like percolated and 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 it is forming. It's in it's, it's a fetus right now, and it's forming into a perfect virtual reality PC baby. When it gets delivered here by a stork for me, that baby is a monster. Here are the specs: Intel i9 14900KF processor, 2.4 gigahertz to 6 gigahertz, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 graphics card with 24 gigabytes of GDDR RAM, and 32 gigs of onboard RAM, a 1,000 watt platinum rated power supply, along with a 240 millimeter liquid cooled CPU. Okay the investment. So again, I'm having Dell build this for me. They're going to send it to me. It's going to be all done. It's going to be ready. I take it out of the box. I plug it in and I go. The investment for this computer was all said and done, all in, tax, everything, a little over $4,000. I know, I know, I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm crazy too. I don't know what I'm doing, man. $4,000 for a computer. I mean, some of you might think that's nothing. You know, that's not that much. Other people are like, you're nuts, man. I mean, yeah, I know I could have saved some money if I just decided to build the thing myself and just purchase all of the parts and maybe even have my friend help me build it. But again, I didn't want to take any chances. And the way I look at it is there's two ways I look at it. One, I use virtual reality on a daily basis so much. I'm using it, you know, around two to four hours a day average. That's a lot of time. So I might as well put some money into it discretionary funds. I don't have a lot of money. I am not a rich person by any means. $4,000 is nothing for me to sneeze at. It, it's what some people might invest in taking a vacation or, you know, 
sprucing up their, their, their car in some way or getting a motorcycle or I don't know, any m number of other things that you could spend this money on. I'm like, you know, but this is something I know I will use on a regular basis. I'll get a lot of use out of this. And if it doesn't knock my socks off, I can send it back to them within 30 days and get my money back and keep playing on the machine I've got now. Not only that, but I'm hoping that it will help me to run games with the UEVR mod, the Unreal Engine Virtual Reality mod that can take Unreal Engine 3 and Unreal Engine 4 games and turn them into almost native VR games. That means that you will be taking games that are meant to be rendered once for a flat screen at a really high fidelity and t having it rendered twice now. So I want as much horsepower behind this computer as I can possibly get. But $4,000. It's got that 4090 graphics card in it, you know? Those things are expensive and they're not coming down in cost. They, you know, the 4060s, 4070s, 4080s, those have all come down in cost, but the 4090s keep staying expensive. Sometimes they even go up and get more expensive. But I didn't want to wait until the 5,000 cards came out. See, I've been ta thinking about doing this for a year, and I'm finally just pulling the trigger now. And I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, thinking, you know, well, I'll wait till the 5,000 cards come out or whatever. But you know what? You do that every year. Something new is around the corner, so then you wait. You know, there are people that didn't want to get, don't want to get a Quest 3 because they're going to wait to see what the Quest 4 is going to be like, or the Quest 3S, which we'll talk about in another video. I've got some stuff. I've got some... I've got thoughts on the new quest that is potentially going to be coming out later this year or beginning of next year. And we'll talk about that in a separate video, but you can always find a reason to put it off. But I'm like, you know what? I don't want to wait another year to have great VR. I could get hit by a bus tomorrow. You know, I'm going to, you know, life is short. So I'm, I'm going to be eating ramen noodles <laughs> for quite a few meals. I'm going to be, you know, turning down, going out socializing with friends, going out to movies and all these things. Yeah, I got to save the pennies because this is what I put in. But guess what? You know what? That's the beauty of virtual reality. I don't have to go do that stuff with my friends. I can just stay home and do that in virtual reality. So there you go. See? I'm saving money in the long run. That's the way to look at it. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Am I crazy for doing this? Let me know in the comments below. If you think I'm insane, if you think this is $4,000 for a, a pre-built machine from Dell was a dumb thing to do. I, I want to hear it. I can take it. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. Okay. Let me know if you think that was foolish. Let me know if you think that was pretty cool. Let me know if you're going to stick around and see what this, this journey takes me on as this happens. And don't worry, I'll be releasing other videos about different virtual reality experiences as well while this process is happening. But make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon right now so you're notified when the new videos come out and they will be coming out. I'm intrigued. I'm nervous. I don't know, man. I mean, I, every minute I like bounce back and forth. Should I, should I cancel the order? Did I make a big mistake? I think I made a big mistake. No, I don't think I did. I think I made the right thing. I think I made the right choice. We shall see. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you'll come back and uh, we'll see how I feel about this in about a week and a half. Whew. Take care, everyone. Jolly Julian signing off. Thousand dollars? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Seriously, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? I don't spend money willy nilly. I'm I'm a I'm a penny pincher. I'm a, I'm pretty frugal. Okay, I'm I'm fairly frugal human being, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's a good thing, I think, in the long run. This is crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I think I I, I think I need to be institutionalized. I'm out of here. Mm.